Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I want to take you guys through how I truly prepare for the Sabbath. I know in past videos, I've shown you me cleaning, which is a huge part of preparing for the Sabbath, and I will still clean, obviously, but it truly is a week-long preparation. Today is actually Saturday, Saturday night, and I am beginning to prep for the Sabbath that is coming ahead. And so it really takes a week for me to prepare for the Sabbath, um, now I'm going to start by meal prepping for the week. Um, not meal prepping, but figuring out what I'm going to cook for the week. And then also what I'll cook for Sabbath. So that way when I go out grocery shopping tomorrow, and I'll probably take you out with me, um, I get everything that I need for the week and also for Sabbath. Um, so now I'm on Pinterest because we have an exciting Sabbath coming up. We have friends coming in town and they are vegetarian. And so I want to make some really yummy meals for them. Um, so I'm on Pinterest trying to figure out what I'll make for them. If I'm being honest, I usually do this in bed <laughs> and just relaxing, just relax and like, you know, meal plan. But um, I'm going to do it here with y'all because I don't want to take y'all to my room with me. That's my, that's my space, if you know what I mean. So anyway, so I'm going to start off by meal, meal planning, creating a grocery list basically. And then throughout the week, I'll show you other things that I do to prepare for the Sabbath. All right, guys, it's now Sunday and I'm out and about. I'm headed to several different stores to pick up all the groceries that we need for the week and also for Sabbath. Um, this is a part of the Sabbath process for me. Yes, it's Sunday and I have a, a lot, a few more days until Sabbath even gets here, but I like to start early so that way during the week I can get other little things done. And this is just something that I get to tick off the list. So first we're gonna head to 99 Ranch Market and then probably Target and Sprouts. I'm still on the hunt for eggs. If you guys saw my last video, I have yet to find any eggs or well, the quality of eggs that I like to give my son. So I am still out looking for eggs. Hopefully I find it. The reason why I'm going to Target anyway is because um, they, I have a coupon for some eggs if they have them there. So I'll probably go and look there. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> coming to the Asian market because you can find really cool stuff like cassava. They even have jackfruit there. Mm. I wonder if I should try making like some rice with grated coconut. 
where is it? Co coconut juice? Oh, should I try that? I don't know. We have cassava, whole cassava, cassava leaves, taro, tempeh. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all a little haul of what I got at the Asian market. Um, I noticed they did have eggs there, so if I don't find it anywhere else, I'll come back. But it was $8.99 for 12 pasture-raised eggs. I don't, know, I don't really love that price. But anyways, if I have to, I'll go back and get it. But the first thing I got are these vegetable... Oh, I thought that said shrimp. I got scared. Vegetable spring rolls. So again, the family that's coming to visit us, um, they're vegetarian, so... I got that for Sabbath, like an appetizer. Um, fun fact, I used to work at Panda Express um, throughout college, really the first first year or two I worked at Panda Express. And so I know how they make their chow mein. <laughs> Do they call it lo mein? I don't remember. I think Panda Express calls it lo mein, but like in Chinese it's chow mein. I don't know. Anywho, but um, so I bought some chow mein to make chow mein noodles. I know that that family that's coming loves chow mein noodles, so I'm, I'm going to make that for them. And then also for Sabbath. And then this is something for my family to try because I've heard about it a lot, but it's chicken longanisa. I think it's a um, yeah Filipino brand like chicken sausage. I hear so much about it. So I wanted to try it and maybe for breakfast um, one weekend we'll try that. So that's all I got at the Asian market. Not too much. I'm about to head to Target now and then sprouts. Okay, I'm in Target and I wanna make my baby shower meatballs from vegetarian style. So I need some pineapple tidbits and some grape jelly if I can find some. I might get that at sprouts actually, but I never can really find pineapple tid tidbits anywhere. So I saw them, I'm gonna grab them. Okay, I just got back from Target. Now I'm about to hit the Sprouts. All I got at Target was mostly the drinks, the Olipop, and then um, the pineapple tidbits. The only thing I need at Sprouts is some brioche bread for French toast for Sabbath morning. And I need some vegan or vegetarian meatballs, like Beyond Meat meatballs. Um, all my fruits and veggies, I think I'll get that, like I said, at Costco at the end of the week. So yeah, let's go to Sprouts. This is my favorite body wash. I think I showed y'all before in a previous video. Oh, I love sprouts. It smells so good in here. I need vegetarian meatballs. Do they have any? This is why I love sprouts. Six seventy nine is the cheapest price I've seen for pasture-raised organic eggs. Not every healthy food store is expensive or more expensive. Okay, so I just finished at Sprouts. I got mostly everything I needed. 
except like fruits and veggies. Um, I <laughs> mostly got stuff for my son to cook for him. I found the vegetarian meatballs. I got some of my protein drinks for the week and some eggs, bread, and stuff like that. So, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, it was a successful trip. It was a successful trip and now I'm gonna go home and cuddle my baby. Today is Monday. I usually do this on Thursday, but um, I need this video to go up on Wednesday. So I'll show y'all me doing it now. Basically, another thing I like to do to prepare for the Sabbath, like for us to actually go to church, is to pick out our outfits in advance. Usually after I do laundry, I pick out my outfit and my son's outfit, and my husband picks out his own outfit. Um, so we do that early, so on Saturday morning, we're not like scrambling to figure out what we're wearing. And like I said, I normally do this on Thursday, but I'm gonna do it today on Monday um, so I can get this video up on time. Um, and then I also, We'll be doing a lot of laundry and all that today also. I don't know if I'll show y'all that because I show y'all that all the time when I do um, clean with me's. Um, and this video is mostly just showing you different things that I do throughout the week to prepare for the Sabbath. Okay. <clears throat> he has this, um, but it's a little chilly still. So I'm gonna pick out something else for him. This is my son's laundry that I just washed. Um, I'm gonna probably pick something from here. He'll probably wear these jeans and then a nice top. Okay, so here's my son's outfit for church on Sabbath. He'll be wearing this little sweater, some jeans and his um, Converse. And I also put the socks inside of this. I'm gonna fold this outfit and put it somewhere that I'll remember so I can just grab it Sabbath morning. All right, guys, as you can see, I haven't cleaned at all, but um, I won't put that in this video. I want to show you guys other things that I do besides cleaning. And sorry if I'm whispering, baby is sleeping. But another thing I like to do, <coughs> usually Saturday night or Monday, is like open up all the windows and let fresh air come in because I'm usually cooking a lot like on Friday. So, um, or really Friday night or Saturday, whatever. <laughs> Any day that I remember. I try and open up all the windows and stuff just to let fresh air come in so the apartment doesn't smell bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I like to do just to upkeep the apartment. Okay, as you saw earlier, I picked out my son's outfit. Now it's time for me to pick out my outfit. Sometimes I like to match him. Um, I do my best to match him if, I, you know, if I'm trying to be that kind of family <laughs> that matches the church. But this Sabbath is a little chilly. So that's my focus, is to find something that's pretty warm. Okay, now that I have my outfit picked out for church, the next thing I normally do is figure out my hair. I have natural hair, so um, that takes a while to do. So I usually have a wash day. Wash days for me are usually Wednesdays or Thursdays. And then I'll style it for church. And then hopefully by Saturday my hair is dry and I can wear my natural hair out. If you're, not, if you're a natural, if you have natural African-American hair, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it takes days for your hair to dry. And then you just hope and pray that the style comes out right the day that you need it to come out right. So that's why I start early. Either Wednesday or Thursday, I do wash day. So hopefully my hair is dry and styled by Sabbath. So Thursdays are usually my laundry days where I do all the heavy laundry, like the rugs from the bathroom or the sheets on the bed, all of that just to get everything a good refresh. Um, and I also tidy up all of the bathrooms. All right, so I wanted to show you all my copycat um, Panda Express low main recipe. Um, if I'm being honest, this was a whole week later after our friends came, I wanted to remake it. And all I had were these soba noodles. So these are not chow mein noodles, but um, definitely try and use chow mein noodles if you have them. But you'll need an onion, some celery, and some cabbage. And the sauce is super simple. You'll need dark soy sauce, not regular soy sauce, but the dark one. Some vegetarian oyster sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of brown sugar. That's all you need for this sauce, and it, it makes the recipe so good, so flavorful. Very, um, what's the word? Umami.
the key to this Panda Express Lo Mein is really trying to get that wok flavor. I'm not using a wok, but a way to get that flavor is to char the onions. Um, so let them get really nice and toasted. This was the final results, and again, definitely use chow mein noodles, but this was amazing. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before in a previous clip or not, but this video has taken me two whole weeks to film. Um, I was trying to go grocery shopping and do all that. And then we had friends come over last weekend, which was great. So um, I made a big feast and I had intended to film that, but I really just enjoyed hanging out with them. So I didn't film it, but I did show y'all how I made the lo mein for them, the chow mein for them. Um, but this weekend, which is the next weekend, my whole family got sick. So um, it's a real low key weekend. We barely got to clean or do anything, but um, this is why um, when I go to Costco, I pick, sometimes I pick up meals like this, like pre-made meals um, where all I have to do is like throw, put some rice on the stove and some, a few sides and it's super easy for Sabbath so I don't have to worry about like cooking. Um, another meal I found at Costco, which we haven't tried yet, but it looks really good, is this lasagna. Ow! Like lasagna like this for Sabbath where I just didn't have time to cook, you know what I mean? So I like Sabbaths to feel really special. And so I try to cook like new creative foods for the Sabbath, but if I don't have time to do that because we're sick or whatever, or I just don't feel like it, those meals come in so handy. So that's what we're having for Sabbath this week until we can all just, so we can just all chill and feel better. All right, y'all, this is our Sabbath meal the beef bulgogi from Costco, and the chow mein we made last night, as well as our wonderful medicines. <laughs> but a really chill Sabbath. We didn't even make it to church, y'all. Like, we didn't want to spread germs, so this is what we got this Sabbath. It still looks really good. It looks like I took hours to make this, but we literally took like 10 minutes, so win-win. All right, y'all, it's Sophie from the Future. It's like a month later i'm finally getting to edit this y'all it's been a crazy week crazy few weeks a lot of fun things going on but i wanted to come in here and clarify the whole point of this video i don't think i made it clear as you guys know sabbath is really important to us um it's not the basis of our um christianity i guess but i i want to emphasize the sabbath on my channel a lot because it's something that's not talked about in christianity and i think well not often um, like the purpose of the Sabbath and why we have the Sabbath and all that. So um, I am, I'm emphasizing it because I want to spread awareness of it, I guess. I want um, people to feel the peace that my family feels on the Sabbath. And we get that by working hard during the week. And then on Sabbath, we literally rest, y'all. We go to church, we fellowship with others. But then when we come home, we relax, you know, and I think that's really important for our health. I think God designed the Sabbath intentionally. He wants us to be able to relax and have that one day of rest, you know, because it's not fun to work every single day of the week, if you know what I mean. But anyways, so throughout the week, um, I'm not a working mom right now. Like I'm not, I, I stay at home right now, but like this video, I wanted to help someone who is, whether you work from home or stay at home mom, or you're working outside in the office, whatever it may be, like there's little things that you can do throughout the week to make Sabbath day a little bit easier for your family. So, or if you're a dad, whoever you are, the whole point is there's little things that you can do throughout the week to where Sabbath day is just the day where you can actually chill and you don't have to worry about housework. So yeah, 
that was the point of this video. I'm going to add this to the end of the clip. And thank you all for watching and have a happy Sabbath.